Okay, so we've had a few questions in regards to this lesson in week one's uh, group of modules. The voltmeter, a uh, very important tool when trying to figure out electrical problems. Uh, I know it didn't give you much direction in regards to what this tool is. It just starts you here, and this is kind of a guessing game for you guys. Uh, so I'm going to help you all through it. DC and AC voltage selector switch is here. Rotary switch is here. Your ground connection. Uh, now it's between current and voltage and resistance. It's these two wires. Well, I know we talked a little bit about this voltage and this symbol here is resistance. So that should give you a hint that this is current. All right, so now you've seen that, let's move on. Here it says the multimeter is an instrument used for measuring electrical components and circuits. The most common units measured with a multimeter are direct and alternating currents with volts, direct and alternating currents in amperes, or yeah, resistance is in ohms. So set the multimeter so you can measure the battery voltage. So we got to set the for battery voltage. So volts is V. So we got to move over our lead. We got to set our switch here. And we need to bring this down to 20 volts. And let's check. All right. Now we see a wiring diagram, okay? Um, and it's going to be saying here, the, volt the voltmeter measures a difference in voltage potential difference by connecting the meter in parallel between two measuring points. So that is if you want to measure voltage difference across lamp one, right here, R1, you connect the measuring probes to points 12 and 19. So 12 and 19. If you want to measure the voltage at a connection point, the specific point, like here, point 12, you connect the red probe to 12 and the black probe to the negative terminal, point 26. So you put it here and here. So let's do some of this. Measure the battery voltage. Well, over here is a symbol for battery. So this is where our battery is. We need to bring our meter down to 20. This now we know is the negative side. So here we see we have 12 volts. Uh, measure the voltage across R1. So we're going to measure across R1. So let's put our leads on points 12 and 19. Our lead is in the volt section. We need to drop this back down to 20. All right. So let's check that and see. Okay, correct. The voltage is zero. And why is that? It's because of this switch up here. The switch is, is uh, open, so there's no electricity passing from the battery into the circuits. So now let's measure the voltage across the switch, across points two and three, open and close the switch. So points two and three are up here, point two, point three, Set our meter. Our lead is still on volts. Okay, so here we see 12 volts. One coming from the negative side and one wire coming from the positive side of the battery. So we have 12 volts. Let's see what happens when we close the switch. It drops to zero. And look at all these lights are on now because the switch is on. Switch off, switch on. Switch off, switch on. We're gonna find out why that's happening, why we lose our voltage across the switch in a, in a question later. All right, 
Why is a difference in voltage zero when the switch closes? Here's your three options. Well, it's basically this one here because the voltage at the connection points two and three is the same. Now, measure the voltage across R1. The voltage across R1 is what? So the voltage is on. So let's see how much power we're getting across R1. Set our switch back, 11.99. Okay. Measure the voltage at connection point four. So we'll bring our lead up to four. And since it's asking measure the voltage at point four, we're gonna put our negative lead down on 26 and see what the voltage is right at four. Well, it's 11.99 again, okay. Measure the voltage across R6. Here's R6. We gotta reset this again. It's 11.99. And we have finished this lesson. So hopefully this helps uh, the students who had an issue with this or are having an issue with this lesson. Um, let me know if you have any other questions.